In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up pages with sidebars and menu options. So let's get started. So as you can see in front of me, we have the finished product. On the left hand side here, we have our page content. On the right hand side, we have a menu widget. And if we click on any of the pages within the widget, we can navigate through each of the pages. So let me show you how this is set up. Firstly, you go to the admin area of your WordPress website. And since we're using pages within WordPress, we simply click on pages. From this page, we will go ahead and add new pages. But for this demo purposes, I'm just going to show you, I've added three pages already. So page one, page two, and page three. And those are the navigation pages you can see here, page one, page two, and page three. So if I edit any of these pages, you can see the page content. At the top, we have the page title, and then we have all of the page content. And it's worth noting the difference. The page title is used primarily on this sidebar menu navigation captions here and the page content is obviously on the left-hand side. You'll notice that on, for example, uh, this page, I have a, repeated the title and the, the main page title twice. And this is to show you that the um, title, if I add a new one and update, if I click on page title here, you'll notice the menu captions has changed, but I'm not the main page content. And this is great because obviously now you can customize the entire page content separately from the title. And that's actually very useful for multiple SEO purposes. Now, the main element you need to change on this section is the page attributes. So on the right hand side and the page attributes, we want to make sure that the template that we've selected is the sidebar. So as you can see, we have multiple templates within Premium Press themes. The one you want to use is blank page, sidebar left or sidebar right, depending upon where you want the sidebar displayed. And once you've set your attribute, you update your page. So as you can see here, now we have the sidebar on the right. If, for example, I wanted page two to be left, so if I click page two now, you can see it's on the right as in. I would go over to pages. I would find page two. I would edit the page attributes on the right and then change it to the left. Click update. Now I'll go back to my page and give it a refresh. As you can see now, the sidebar is now on the left hand side. So on page one, it's on the right, page two, it's on the left, and then page three again, it's on the right. So now we know how to add the pages. So this is done under WordPress pages. Simply click, click pages. And I'm gonna add one more just for this demo purpose. I'm gonna call this page four. And I'm just gonna give it some random text content. So I've created my new page and I can preview the page as you can see, a blank page has no sidebars. It's just basic content. So obviously I need to now go ahead and add the sidebar and then I need to link that into my sidebar navigation. So again, edit the page. From the page attributes on the right, we click the template option and we click with the page sidebar. So I'm gonna put the sidebar on the right. I can now preview the page to make sure the sidebar is visible. Okay, so we can see the sidebar is visible. But you'll notice now that the menu, this page is not part of the page navigation. So we need to set up the page navigation. So we go to the admin area. On the left hand side under appearances, we click on menus. Now, as you can see, I have created a new menu navigation already. As you can see here, it says menu structure. Menu name is my page sidebar. So in this case, because I've, I've just created a new uh, page, I can see it's on the left-hand side on the pages, and I'm just gonna add it to this sidebar. I click Save Menu. I can go back to my website, give it a refresh. I can now see that my page four has been added to this navigation. Now you want to know where this navigation is stored, and this is set under the sidebar under widgets. So if I click on widgets, I can see multiple sidebar options. So I can see I've got blog sidebar, pages sidebar, search sidebar, etc. In this case, under the page sidebar, I've dragged in a menu. So you can see under the available widgets, we have this one called menu. Simply drag it over, drop it in. I'll delete the existing one just so I can save any issues. As you can see, the widget title is just menu. And where it says choose a menu to display, 
You simply select the menu you've created on the Appearances menu. Click Save and give it a refresh. So as you can see now, this would be my menu widget. And now I can obviously toggle through all of the pages in this menu navigation. So let's go ahead and set up a completely new sidebar system. So we go to pages again. I'm gonna go add new. I'm gonna give a title, new test. I'm gonna, on the right hand side under page attributes, I'm gonna make sure I've selected the sidebar. So I'm gonna click sidebar on the right and click publish. I'm just gonna add some random content. Random text, random test, text. Spell would be good. Publish. I can view the page just to verify that it has the sidebar. Okay, so I have a sidebar at the moment. I'm gonna go ahead and add another page. New test two. Okay, but something different. As you can see, again, the menu sidebar has not been updated yet because I haven't set them. In this case, I wanna go ahead and create a brand new menu so we see how it's done. And the parents menus, I'm gonna click on create a new menu. And the menu, I'm gonna call it new test. Click create page, create menu, sorry. I'm gonna add my new two pages so I can see test two and test is here. So I'm gonna add these to my sidebar. So click on here, add to menu. Click save to menu. So you can see now they're now saved. And under widgets, under pages, page sidebar. If this widget wasn't already there, I would just simply drag it in. And then where it says choose a menu to display, I would select my newly added menu. Click save, go to my website, give it a refresh. As you can see now, I have test two and test, which is the new two pages that I've just created. As you can see in the test two, I've completely forgotten to add the sidebar widget. So I click on edit page. And again, under page attributes, click on blank page, sidebar right, update, review the page. Now I can see they're all linked together. So new test and new test two. Perfect. So there we go. That's how to create pages add sidebars, and then link them all together using a menu widget. Thanks for watching.